before we get into this video, I'd like to thank the sponsor, Book of the Month. Book of the Month is an online book subscription service wherein the team offers you five different books every month to choose from. They range all different genres. They can be pre-releases, debut authors, authors that they've featured before. You get to choose one of these five hardcover books to receive straight to your door every month. And if none of them tickle your fancy that month, you can skip at no extra charge and then just pick up the next month. So if you use the code on the screen as well as the link in the description of this video, you can get your first hardcover book for just $9.99. And so with that, Book of the Month has sent me June's books for me to share with you. First, we have a very interesting title, Half Sick of Shadows by Laura Sebastian. This is an early release fantasy. I love fantasy so much, so I'm very pleased to see it in here. Uh, this is a Arthurian legend retelling, but with women. Next, we have another title that this one, I know I've been a little bit out of the loop with the newer releases, and I think Book of the Month has really kept me, kept me uh, clued in on some things, but this one I actually heard about before. And it sounds so good. This is The Maidens by Michael Lids. People were saying that this is a dark academia book if they ever did see one. It's a thriller. It's a repeat author, so they've had a book by him before. It's about murder, myth, and horror leaking beneath the ivory tower. Next up, we have another book that's just been on the radar, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which is a book that my friend really wanted to read, so I might have to lend her this. But this is a historical fiction repeat author. This follows the story of siblings over the course of one life-changing night. Next up, we have a young adult book, which is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon, another wonderful artist, everybody. Artist? She is an artist. Author that everybody loves. This is a story about a girl who reads a life-changing book, finds love, and renewed purpose on the dance floor after her parents' divorce. And last but not least, we have Sky Falling by Mia McKenzie, which is a contemporary fiction novel that examines the complexities of family, queerness, race, community, and woman who's used to going on solo discoveries that there's one relationship she can't run away from. Isn't this such a cute cover? Like, look at the illustrations. So these are the books for June, book of the month. Very exciting. A lot of things that I want to read in here, so I shall cherish them. And if you're interested in getting any of these books or any of book of the month's future books or past books, you can click the link in the description and use the coupon code if you'd like to. And again, thank you so much book of the month for sponsoring this video.
guys how are you all doing i just wanted to pop in here at the end for a few things that i wanted to share because i feel like this video is very short and i kind of apologize for that but whenever i apologize for a video being too short people are like don't apologize thank you for even making one so shut up and i thank you so much for that okay and then there are also those people that are like how dare you post a short video with it being sponsored how dare you try and make money thank you to those people that are kind and i appreciate it so much and even if you've never commented and but you, you're still there and you still vote on my polls and i see you and i know that you've never commented before but i appreciate you that you take the time i just the other day i posted on my story that i maybe she will start a patreon yes i will be starting a patreon and i did a poll and you know and i see who votes and i'm just like i appreciate you i just got in mood there because i haven't really been doing well um at all because rocky had to stay behind in belize and so i'm here in my apartment all alone also my sister who i live with was going to be staying in belize for longer than i was but i was at the airport i was at the check-in counter and they wouldn't let rocky on because his rabies shot was expired by a few days He's an 11 year old dog that has gotten his rabies shot every single freaking year of his life and they wouldn't let him on. Even though my mom remembered when I was a lot younger, we were trying to travel with him and his rabies shot was expired and they let him on and they let him into the United States. So, <laughs> so I have not been doing well and I thank you all who have DM'd me about it. I appreciate you so much, okay? I just do. So yes, but then the context of the timeline of my life, um, this vlog was filmed after I came back from Belize. So I'm from Belize. I was born and raised there. I went back for three weeks. No, three weeks. Was I there three weeks? And I filmed all there and I've been editing it and I just need more time to edit. So this is the video you get now with the footage that I took recently. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I really like this format, this footage style aesthetic because it, it feels very tangible memory type thing. But so the Billy's video will be up after this. So thank you for your patience and for your anticipation. I thank you. It's 3 a.m. and somebody is playing music very loudly from their car and they never play good music ever. Anyway, so I'm here. I'm trying to just keep it moving day by day, even though it's been pretty hard. I'm reopening my shop. This video is going up on Sunday, unless you're watching this way in the future. The shop is reopened and all of my previous prints and sets of things because I sell my photography are all available. So if you want to get those, you can. And then I will have a new pack coming in july and then i'm going to be starting a patreon and i'll talk about that more in a future video but it's coming anticipate it follow me on instagram because it'll all be there the updates will be happening there and that's it shop link is in the description i hope you have a good one and that is it goodbye crap i forgot something uh i didn't really i just checked out for some reason but i didn't really film anything from when i went to karaoke and but i posted about it on my instagram story and i got a, quite a number of dms asking for who is eric and please spill the tea about eric in the next video um <laughs> i was just being funny okay I went to karaoke and there was this cute guy named Eric because he had a name tag on because he worked there. Yeah, that's it. He just complimented my rings. And then for the rest of the night, because I had been drinking, I just kept being like, Eric, where are you? Literally never going to see this man again. Am I a little sad about it? Mm, maybe. But then I remember I hate men anyways.